Mopar Spec HD Relay is designed to provide reliable power to your HID ballast. The difference between this one and the regular HD Relay is that the Mopar Spec includes an anti-flicker capacitor link. Now the capacitor link is important because on Mopar vehicles especially, among others these days, there's actually a lot that need it, there's a pulsed circuit, or pulsing voltage that comes out of the factory headlight socket. And when you put on an HID system or normal relay harness without the capacitor link, that pulsing is going to translate into the relays and cause the HIDs to flash. Now we're going to go over the connections on the Mopar spec harness so that when you're going to put it together, installation's a breeze. There's only seven connections total, so it's pretty simple. First and foremost is the input from the car. Now off of the capacitor link is the input adapter that goes to the car. Now depending on what kind of car it is or depending on the bulb size, you might have one of these that's for an H11 or an H10, 9006. That's going to vary depending on the application. From there, it goes to the capacitor and on the, off of the capacitor is ground. Make sure that you get a solid metal contact on the ground. Do like the negative battery terminal, that works. Now from there, the OEM input goes to the relay pack. Relay pack spreads out on the driver side and the passenger side. We always recommend doing the OEM input and the relay pack on the side that's closer to the car battery, just because of the way that the wire lengths are on the harness. Now, on the driver's side, for example, if your battery was over there, you have one connection, which is for your ballast and a ground. On the other side, same thing, connection for a ballast and a ground. And the very last connection is just simply for the positive battery terminal, 12 volt input. The 12 volts are gonna come through this line, which is fused, go through the relays, which are switched by the OEM input, and be sent out to the ballast, again, according to the signals from the factory wiring. So this can go to the positive battery, ballast, ballast, and then these are the grounds. It's very important to make sure that you get solid grounds when you put the harness on the truck, the car, or whatever. A lot of times, there will be a factory grounding location on both sides of the engine bay, which is always what we recommend doing. If there isn't, just make sure that you ground it to solid metal. If you have a painted surface that's metal, grind the paint off. Don't, don't mount the ground to anything that's plastic, anything that's rubber. It's too common a point of failure when people are troubleshooting that they mount this to something that isn't a good ground. So, that's important. Last part of importance is mounting the relay. Now, the relay does not need to be grounded or anything like that, but when you do put it under the hood, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the wires exit from the bottom. That way, no moisture will ever get in the relays and ultimately they should never fail. If you mount it sideways or with the wires going down, water could run down these wires into the relays, corrode them, and you might end up with a headlight failure. So, other than that, it's pretty easy to connect the harness. It should be completely plug and play. If you get to a point where you think you have to cut something to put this in, stop and just contact us.